Hi, I'm Hazila, a chemistry teacher from Kubampasu Science School, Malaysia. Throughout this video, you will learn about neutralization, a chemical reaction in which an acid and a base react to form a salt. You will also learn about its application in daily life, especially on health and environment. Alia, have you taken the breakfast I put on the table at the kitchen? Ask Shasha to join you. Not yet, Mummy. We want to play first. Alia, I brought drinks and mango pickles. Can you have some? Wow, my favorite pickles. All right. What's wrong, Alia? Come, let me have a look. Mommy, help me. I feel so painful in my stomach. You hold on, please. Okay, let me rub some medicated oil on the stomach. Now, do you feel better? Not yet, Mommy. Okay, dear. Take a rest. If you still feel the pain afterwards, we'll see a doctor later. As you can see, Alias is having a stomach ache. Madam Hamida, Alias mother, needs help to solve Alias problem. Can you help her out? Please discuss with our friends to answer these questions. What could possibly cause Alia to have a stomachache? How to help is Alia's pain? What's your problem, young lady? I feel pain in my stomach. Have you had this problem before? No, this is the first time. Mm, have you taken your breakfast, dear? No, I was playing chongkak with my best friend. I drank carbonated drink and ate pickled mangoes. Then suddenly I felt pain in my stomach. Okay, let me give you a check first. Please lie over there. Please come, please lie down on the bed. Just relax. I'm going to check your stomach first, right? Do you feel pain here? Here? Alright, then. Good. Now, what she's having is gastric. So, this is caused because she drank carbonated drink and ate pixel with an empty stomach, which is not good, dear. I will prescribe some medicines for her to ease her pain. So just hand over this prescription to the pharmacy counter. All right, thank you, doctor. Thank you. Okay, untuk uh, Alia. Eh? Okay, yang ni MMT lah untuk elakkan dia ni. So minum 10 ml, 3 kali sehari selepas makan ya. Eh? Okay, saya tuang kat sini 10 ml. All right, thank saja. Saya. So audience, 
Alia has to consume milk of magnesia three times daily. Milk of magnesia is a suspension of magnesium hydroxide in water. A small dose of it effectively neutralizes excess stomach acid, which is mostly hydrochloric acid. Now, let us discuss how does milk of magnesia manage to cure Alia's stomach pain? Let's carry out a simple experiment to help answer the questions. You will need these materials. 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid, milk of magnesia and universal indicator. Apparatus, glass rod, dropper, beaker and measuring cylinder. Perform the experiment with the guidance from your teacher. Your teacher will pose some questions during the experiment. For example, what is the major component in milk of magnesia? How does milk of magnesia cure gastric problem? Have fun! See that you have done your experiment and found the answer. Good job! Our stomach contains hydrochloric acid which dissociates in water to produce hydrogen ion and chloride ion. Magnesium hydroxide also dissociates in water to produce magnesium ion and hydroxide ion. Neutralization involves double displacement reactions which produce salt and water. Therefore, when hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium hydroxide, magnesium chloride and water are formed. You know how to construct a chemical equation involving hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide. And now, let's try a simple activity. Can you construct other neutralization equations? Your teacher will provide you with some clay models. Please follow his or her instructions on performing the activity. Well done students, congratulations. You now know how to construct a neutralization equation. Let's check your equation together. Hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chloride and water. Sulfuric acid reacts with calcium hydroxide to produce calcium sulfate and water. Sulfuric acid reacts with calcium oxide to produce calcium sulfate and water. When hydrochloric acid and potassium hydroxide react, potassium chloride and water are produced. Mommy, I feel relief and healthy. I feel no more pain. Neutralization helps Alia to cure her gastric pain. Do you know that neutralization is very important in our daily life? Can you list down the use of neutralization in your daily life with your friends and teacher? Your teacher will provide you with some pictures of a house, factory, farm and clinic. Identify occurrence of neutralization based on those pictures. Well, students, we have listed down the importance of neutralization in our daily life. Based on the activity you just did, we shall look at the impact of neutralization on our health and environment. Let's explore some locations and identify how neutralization cheers up our day. Why does Alia brush her teeth? 
What is the substance Alia put onto her toothbrush? You can also see that after shampooing her hair, Alia applies some hair conditioner. Why does she do that? Please keep these questions in your mind. We will discuss the answers later. For now, we'll move to another scene at the kitchen. Madam Hamida is cleaning the sink using baking soda and vinegar. How does this work? Do you think Madam Hamida is trying to protect the environment? How? Suddenly, Alia entered the kitchen. She's crying again, but this time she claimed that her right leg is swollen because been bitten by ants. Quickly, Madam Hamida put a few spoon of baking soda to a small bowl containing water and put the mixture to Alia's painful area. It's unbelievable. She put the mixture of baking soda and water onto her daughter's right leg. Can you explain why? Now, let's recall the entire questions and you will have to discuss with your friends to answer them all. What is the substance Alia put onto her toothbrush? How does this substance help prevent tooth decay? Why does Alia use conditioner after shampooing her hair? Madam Hamida cleans the sink using baking soda and vinegar. How does this work? Do you think she is trying to protect the environment? How? Madam Hamida put some mixture of baking soda and water onto her daughter's painful area. Can you explain why? You have already visited Madam Hamida's house and saw what happened there. Now, let's have a tour to her neighbor's farm and the factory where she works. Now students, you can see that Mr. Jamil is putting ashes of burned wood and also limestone to the soil. What do you think is actually happened to the soil? What causes the soil to become acidic? Why does Mr. Jamil put ashes and limestone to the soil? If the soil is alkaline, what should the farmer do? Well, students, you can see that the worker is putting something into the water before the effluent is being discharged. Can you name the substance? What is the purpose of the substance? What happened when a factory waste is poured and treated into the river? You can see that there is something injected into the flue gas. Can you identify the substance and its purpose? What happened when a factory let the flu gas untreated into the air? Discuss with your friends on what you have seen just now.
flue gas or sulfur dioxide is acidic in nature. Releasing the flue gas without treatment will result in acid rain. So, before releasing the flue gas into the air, it is treated with calcium hydroxide or lime water, which has basic property. Reaction of acidic flue gas with basic lime water will result in neutral byproduct and water. The reaction occurs as follows. Sulfur dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide to form calcium sulfide and water. Well, students, we have already learned and explored how neutralization plays an important role in our life. You can see that neutralization helps to enhance the quality of our health and protect our environment. A polluted environment results in deteriorating our health. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Until we meet again, thank you for watching. Thank you for choosing this lesson for your students. At the end of the lesson, your student should be able to explain the meaning of neutralization, write equation for some neutralization reactions, and explain the application of neutralization in daily life. Please acknowledge, before watching this video, your students should have prior knowledge on the basic concept of neutralization, writing chemical equation, and have basic knowledge of pH concept. I would like to also suggest some activities you can use to conduct similar lesson. You can try problem solving with brainstorming session, carry out a simple experiment on the concept of neutralization, and you may want to use mind mapping. For activity two, the materials and apparatus are not only limited to hydrochloric acid. You may use any dilute or any common materials such as vinegar. While red cabbage can be used as an indicator to replace a universal indicator. Here are the procedures on how to prepare the red cabbage juice. First, cut red cabbage into small pieces. Then, put the cabbage into a blender and pour 500 milliliter of water. You can also grind the cabbage using a pestle and mortar and then put them into a jug of water. Leave them for a few minutes. The water will turn into a bright purplish color. After that, filter out the leaves using a strainer and pour the mixture into a container. Please take note that if the solution is acidic, the red cabbage indicator will turn red. While, if the solution is basic, it will turn to greenish yellow. If you think the activities will require longer time, you can divide this video into two lessons. For example, you can construct lesson 1 from segment 1 to activity 4. This is where your students will perform discussion and find answers. In lesson 2, you can continue from segment 5 until segment 6.